Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to go in great detail and talk about how you can actually set up a Shopify account and sell in Canada. Now obviously one of the major things that people need to understand is the fact that we live in a global age today. This is the internet era guys and obviously with this era you can do so many things and one of the best ways to make a passive income and create a side hustle is start selling on Shopify. I'm going to go in great detail and talk about the strategy that we're going to bring to you in which we're going to completely understand understand the dynamics of what you need to do and obviously develop and implement and execute it in a way that it's never been done before. I'm going to show you exactly where to get the right products from and how to set up your Shopify account in Canada. Now the global commerce platform that Shopify.com is, you can literally build your business with Shopify. You can sell online, offline and everywhere in between guys. And the best thing is the fact that we can discover the reason why millions of entrepreneurs have chosen Shopify to build their business and this literally gives us a chance to understand the mistakes and the strategies that they did that worked for them and after studying them very closely I was able to come up with the right dynamics of exactly the methodology that they used to succeed and develop a very unique business model and that is the reason why I made this video for you guys and all the other videos that are available on our channels to give you guys the proper knowledge information the tips and the tricks to ensure that you're always ahead of the game with a 400 and $44 billion worth of global economic activity, even if you're able to achieve 0.001% of that, that is going to be enough for the rest of our lives. And the best thing which I personally feel is that we can bring our vision to life with their simple, easy drag and drop store creator. There's no coding expertise that are required and all you need is just your next big idea. And obviously decreasing your cost, you don't need to hire a front end or back end developer. You can easily select from the customizable templates that are created by a community of world-class designers and you can add more features and functionalities to your online store with the apps that are built by the trusted Shopify developers and you can sell online in person and around the globe with the marketing tools and social integrations. Now obviously guys the best converting checkout on the planet is available with flexible point of sales to power your retail store from the first touch to the full funnel. You can find new shoppers with the SEO, social media, content marketing tools to help you reach customers where they are and build custom email campaign set automations to serve every segment and connect with customers on the go with the integrated messaging tools and the best thing is that you have the data that you can build on guys you can oversee your operations you can fulfill every single order and manage the money where you make it now if you don't have an account guys don't worry click in the description below on the link and get Shopify for 90 days or just click on start the free trial and get to the second page now once you click start the free trial you need to answer a couple of questions like what what best describes you are you just starting off or already selling online or in person we're gonna say we're just starting off now after that we're gonna go with what kind of thing would you like to sell you're still gonna be online store an existing blog social media online marketplace in person we're gonna go with the fact that we want to develop and we want to sell on an online store and create a fully customizable website now after that you've done that you need to select a name now I always mention for people to go in great detail and select a name that really really has a sort of essence to it and the best way to do it is to do some research before you select the name and uh, look at the competitors and understand what they're doing. Once you're able to understand your competitor and understand the way that they have entered the market, you would be able to understand exactly what kind of things that you would need to do and how you would need to brand your store because the name is the most essential thing in the first step in branding your store. So for this video, we're just going to use an example right now. It's going to be my name. I'm going to put Canada at the end of it and we're going to hit next. Now, this is literally the place that you need to focus on because the location will give everything from the shipping rate, the recommended apps and all the requirements from the taxes to set up. So you got to make sure that you select where you want to actually set up your Shopify store. So we're going to go with Canada. And obviously, if you scroll up, we're going to have Canada right here. So as we select Canada, you'll see that we're not currently located in Canada, but uh, they're going to give us the breakdown that obviously, are you sure you want to create an account in Canada? Canada, setting up a store in the wrong country may lead to issues like tax and duty obligations, payment issues, shipping issues, localization, Shopify benefits, term and services. So obviously we're going to check all these out in a second, but we're just going to go next because I want to show you that we are living literally in the global age right now, which gives us a lot of flexibility to sell where we want to sell. So we can create a Shopify ID with our email, with our Apple account, with our Facebook account or our Gmail account. I always go with a Gmail account because I feel that it's very easy.
easy to set everything up with the Gmail account. And once you do that, you just select the Gmail account you want to connect to. So I'm going to connect with the, my main Gmail account over here. Now, this is what our dashboard is going to look like. On the left hand side, we're going to have our home, our orders, our products, our customers, our analytics, our marketing, our discounts. And this is where you can set everything up. Now, the interesting thing is that you have all these amazing themes that are available that you can use, guys. And with Shopify, you get a chance to actually select a lot of themes that are available. So right now, you'll see that we have no theme installed. We can install the default theme. And obviously, we have the theme library that's going to be available over here. If you scroll down, you can see all these popular free themes that are available. So we're going to click on visit the theme store. And this is one of the main elements that I want to highlight, guys. You have a selection of themes and some are free and some are paid. So you got to make sure that you keep your fixed costs as low as possible, then gradually increase and select themes that are a little bit more expensive. So as you can see, you got all these themes available, but we're not going to go and get the, for example, the $320 one. We're going to go, for example, with the free one initially. And obviously, once we go with the free one and only then once our store actually starts getting a lot of traffic and we get sales, we can always upgrade it. So we're going to look at how the demo store is going to look like. And the beauty of Shopify is that you can personalize and you can customize all the information information, the pictures, the actual elements inside of this theme. And that is the reason why I personally love Shopify. Now, once you've done all of that, you need to head back and the place you need to go is settings. Now, as you go to settings, because we're starting in Canada, we got to make sure that our address is correct is correct over here. It's in Canada. Then after doing that, we're going to check our location. That's going to be based in Canada. It's correct. It's based in Canada. Our billing is supposed to be based in Canada as well. So we're going to make sure that that has been selected properly. Properly. Yes, our billing currency is set to the Canadian dollar. So whenever we're selling something is going to be based in the Canadian dollar. It's not going to be based in something else. Now, once we have done it, the most important part is the market, what we're entering. And there's two markets that are available, guys, which I want to highlight. The first one is the international one, which is inactive right now, which we can manage and activate. And the primary market is going to be in Canada. So you got to make sure that you have all this information in the right place. If there's any other country from here, you can just click on manage and select the right location where you want to start selling and fix it from here. So our dollars is correct, our duties and import taxes are correct, and all this element is properly fixed. Now what you need to do is head over to a website, which is called CJ Dropshipping. Now we want to select products to sell on our Shopify store. So we don't want to get it from China because it's going to take a very long time. What we're going to do is we're going to select warehouses. And as we select warehouses, we're going to seek the Canadian warehouse, meaning all these products are already available in Canada, guys. So basically, if if you're drop shipping in Canada and starting a Shopify store in Canada, you want to make sure that you get the products that are already in Canada so you can easily get those products to your customers. So as you can see over here, this is the warehouse that has all the products in the Canadian market available right now. You can get all these products sent to your drop shipping store and you can start selling on Shopify.com. It is that simple, straightforward and easy, guys. Now, if you got any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section below and I'll be more more than happy to help you, support you, guide you, and to assist you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, guys, do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.